I am going to show you the handmade shaker and scraper that I have come up with for today. Uh, first of all, this is my shaker, which is comprised of an empty water bottle and rice. And see, is that full at the moment? It makes this kind of sound. And then let's see, let's just experiment a little bit. Let's see what happens if I take some of this rice out of the water bottle. Will it change the sound at all? See? I think maybe it has a little bit of a louder, louder sound to it. Then, I wonder what happened if I took even more out. Now I only have that much left in my bottle. Let's see how that sounds. Alright, maybe that's a, a higher pitch shaker sound. Um, so you can change the volume of the sound of your shaker by the volume of rice or object, whatever object you choose to use, um, within the container. And a water bottle is nice to use too because it's easy to grasp, it's easy to hold on to. Um, the second thing that I have is my scraper. So I'm using a wooden spoon, a wooden kitchen spoon, and a comb. Um, and if I use the end of my wooden spoon, I can scrape it against the comb teeth and I get this effect. Um, I'll uh, show you what it sounds like on both sides of the comb. You see I have uh, bigger, bigger teeth on this side of the comb and then I have smaller teeth on this side of the comb. So on the bigger toothed side, I guess you would say, my scraper sounds like this. And then on the smaller toothed side, my scraper sounds like this. So you also have two different volumes, two different sounds uh, within the same object um, used as a scraper. And those are my two homemade instruments for the day.